Time now for another vlog. Hopefully uh, without my neighbor's uh, lawnmower making too much noise in the background. Timing, right? Anyways, if you have a vlog suggestion that you would like to see me do that I have yet to do, be sure and check the vlogs playlist first. Feel free and send your vlog suggestions, topics, ideas my way via the comment section, Twitter, Discord, or uh, <laughs> Facebook. Yes, Facebook still exists <laughs> for now. All the social media to the Go Burns Nation linked below in the description section. And as always, if you have a vlog recommendation that you would like to keep anonymous, I understand. Just uh, DM that to me via Twitter, Facebook, and Discord and let me know you would like that particular topic to be uh, anonymous submission. Okay, so going from being anonymous to wanting attention. Nice segue there, right? That's what we're talking about today. Attention, because everybody wants or seeks or craves or desires attention to some degree. Now, I think that it starts when we're young. A lot of these vlogs do start, right? We go all the way back to when you're very young or before you're born. And then we, we, we build up. It seems to be the nature of my vlogs, right? Same when it goes to attention. We want attention from our parents or our legal guardians or our grandparents. That's just the way it is when it comes to us. We want that attention. To be seen, to be known, to be recognized that we actually exist in this world. Whether it is, you know, your parents or your grandparents, your legal guardians, your siblings. At least from some of your siblings, the siblings you like or the cousins you like. Your friends, especially your friends, you want attention from them and they want attention from you because that's what friends want. They want to be able to spend time together and have attention at the very base, the very core of it all. And then, of course, yes, you also eventually want attention from that special somebody, that guy, that girl that comes along in your life and you're like, I really would like to have their attention and hopefully they want my attention. Well, I mean, they already have your attention, obviously, but you're kind of hoping that the feeling's mutual, so you go out of your way to try and, and get their attention. And expands beyond that to life in general. When it comes to work, you know, wherever field you go into, especially if it's something you're passionate about and you have skills and you desire to one day be in a better uh, place, within a company or, you know, have a better job down the road that has better benefits, better pay, a nicer office. You definitely want attention. You want attention from your coworkers. You want attention from your boss, from those above you. And if there ever is an opening down the road, you want them to look at you and say, you know what? So-and-so is a real up and comer. They got the skills. They, they have the experience. Now we believe that they might be the one worthy of promotion. So yeah, we're all seeking attention to some level, some form or fashion. You can't deny it. I mean, not everybody is out to be a, a movie star or, a, you know, the next big singer or musician or sports star or so-called reality star or YouTube content creator, streamer, <laughs> right? But unfortunately, there are those that desire and crave attention to the point where they're willing to do almost anything possible to gain that attention. Some I already mentioned, right? The uh, reality star types. A lot of them seem to just want attention for the sake of attention. They want their 15 minutes of fame, no matter the cost, no matter what they have to endure or whatever they have to do to themselves, whether it's uh, revealing uh, their ugly nature or their views and opinions that most people don't agree with, or they like wearing very revealing skimpy clothing, or they don't exactly have a very high IQ. And anything they say that comes out of their mouth is just shit that most people laugh at. But they're getting attention. Not exactly the best kind. So you have them. You have a lot of people that go on singing shows, that probably would be better off 
you know, singing in their car or in my case, my truck, <laughs> than uh, actually getting on stage. Because, I mean, as much as I love, you know, singing along to some of my favorite hits from the 80s and 90s, I don't think I should be up there on stage. No. Or doing a live stream under the influence singing. Even if it does uh, give my subscribers a good laugh every now and then. <laughs> I don't think I'd want to put myself through, through uh, you know, attention at that level. Now, there are obviously very good singers out there. Very good performance. Very good uh, people that are, I got, you know, talents and skills that are worthy of attention. And then there are those that, that don't. <laughs> but then there's also people in this world that want attention they end up doing horrific things in order to get that attention case in point last week i was uh, doing a live stream uh, far cry 5 an open world uh, first person shooter game and one of my uh, subscribers told me in chat in all caps by the way this is why i thought originally they were trying to seek attention that there was a shooting at YouTube headquarters. Initially, I dismissed it, and then I quickly, you know, looked online, and it turns out, yeah, you know, there there had been a shooting at YouTube. Now, fortunately, uh, nobody was killed. No victims were killed. I mean, obviously, the staff at YouTube were terrorized by this uh, this attack, this shooting. The only person that died was the uh, the culprit, the uh, gunwoman who ultimately turned the gun on herself and ended her own life. Now, I was speculating last week that possibly that either this was a, somebody that was a former employee, to, you know, somebody that's disgruntled with YouTube, or maybe somebody that has somebody that they were involved with that works at YouTube. Maybe it's a you know, relationship issue. And in a way, I think I was kind of sort of right. I don't claim to be an FBI profiler, but it was somebody that was disgruntled with YouTube. And technically, I wouldn't say an employee, but she was a content creator similar to me and many other content creators out there. Now, I don't like giving attention to mass shooters or people that carry out acts of terrorism. Same thing, in my opinion, because unfortunately, the mainstream media does go out of their way to give those types of more attention than they deserve while at the same time it seems like the victims are the ones that should get the attention they're the ones that we should be talking about and I, I think I've vlogged about this previously probably a few weeks ago or a month ago but I think it all stemmed back from what I read about her last week the fact that a she was a content creator a struggling content creator trying to get viewers trying to get subscribers and I believe she had several channels, actually. And, like, she mentioned one thing about a video of hers that got over 300,000 views, but it only got, like, a few cents ad revenue-wise. And she was angry about that. So, obviously, I think that, as I've mentioned before in the past, if your sole purpose for getting into YouTube and making content is to make money, <laughs> go somewhere else. Because it would take a very long time, a lot of uh, effort, blood, sweat, and tears, and, and time before you have any hope of your channel growing to the point where it is financially viable. So right there, that, that's laughable because I have several uh, videos over on my gaming channel that have you know views in the 100 plus thousand range. And if I'm lucky, they probably have each netted me maybe a few bucks, maybe, but... I'm just glad that people took the time to watch that stuff. The videos, the content I make. I, I just like the attention, I guess. <laughs> Joking. I like making the content. I like playing video games. I like entertaining people. And I like informing people. And I like, hopefully, inspiring people. That's, which is why I do the vlogs. But, going back to this subject. It seems like she was out for attention itself. And she even complained about it regarding the fact that YouTube does focus more on giving attention to their larger channels, the channels that have a 100,000 subscribers, you know, a million plus subscribers, they get more attention from uh, YouTube's, uh, you know, analytics and algorithms than say the smaller channels do. It, it's unfortunate because it makes it very hard 
for uh, channels to grow on YouTube. The reality is there's so many channels out there, big and small already. And every day, new people start YouTube thinking they're going to be the next big YouTuber or next big live streamer. And most of the time, it doesn't work out. A, because there's already a ton of fish in that sea already. And B, they, they give up within a few weeks or a few months. And it's hard because, you know, I've, I've grown a few channels. Not as big as, you know, maybe one day they'll get bigger. But at the same time, I understand the struggle. But two wrongs don't make a right. Being angry at YouTube and taking it out on employees at YouTube that had nothing to do with your channel not growing as fast as you'd hope it would, that's not the right way to go about it. You were just seeking attention. And unfortunately, she got a whole lot of attention last week from the mainstream media. A lot of attention. And ironically, she probably got a lot of views for her videos. And... That's just the wrong way to go about it. But it does make us ponder exactly at what cost are we willing to, to get attention? And what is the consequences of that? Because we, like I said, to some degree, we all want attention. Whether it's from a family member, from a friend, or you know, from a, a boss, or fellow employees, peers in our lives. Or you, you have this person in your life you fancy, this guy, this girl that you just think the world of that you would like to be with. And you, they obviously have your attention and you would like to have their attention as well. In a good way, not, not in a bad, creepy sort of way. Unfortunately, that's usually what happens a lot of times, but not always. But it goes back to what kind of attention uh, do you really want? Do you want people to see you and say, you know what? I like that person. They're, they're a good person. They're, they're a swell guy, a swell girl. They're a cool cat. I really like them because they actually make a, a positive difference in the world. And they're a good friend. They're a good family member. They're a good uh, co-worker. They're a good student. They have a good head on their shoulders. I think that's the, the attention that most people would like to have. I believe that if you were asked point blank, what kind of person would you want to be remembered for? A person that did some good things in this world, that made some sort of positive contribution, that was loved by friends and family, or somebody that was infamous, somebody that did something horrific? I think most of us would prefer to be remembered for for being a good person, for being liked, for being loved. I think that's how most of us feel. I mean, I'd like to believe that the majority of you feel that way. And I don't think that the, uh, those that end up doing bad things, you know, set off intentionally going down that path. I think that a series of events in their lives, external and internal, ultimately caused them to do horrific acts of terror. And that in no way justifies what they did. But in the end, I think something was wrong with him. Just like something was wrong with this uh, YouTuber that went into YouTube headquarters last week and shot some people. And as far as I know, I think all of them have survived and are recovering from their wounds and hopefully they'll make a full recovery. But at the same time, uh, she probably didn't really think about how this was going to affect people that were actually in her life. Like, her family, like her friends, and how for the rest of their life, they're going to have to live with the fact that this person they once knew did such an awful thing. And when you're in a situation like that, to various degrees, when you know somebody that did something bad, you all often ask yourself, like, is there something I could have done that could have stopped this, could have prevented them from going down this path? Because we're all like that, especially if it's for somebody we, we generally care about, like, you know, a family member or a close friend. And I'm sure parents probably feel that way right now. They probably think to themselves, especially the dad who, you know, even tried to warn police, apparently. You know, they wonder, like, is there something I could have done that could have prevented this? I mean, he tried to his, 
to his defense, he did try. But at the end of the day, uh, I believe she was 39 years old, right? She's two years older than me. In other words, she was an adult. I mean, unfortunately, most adults don't act like adults these days. Myself included. I admit to my flaws. I try to, though, most of the time. Though, I guess I do have spouts of immaturity. I guess I like to save that for my live streams and when I'm playing video games. <laughs> uh, save it for when I'm gaming. But, yeah, she was an adult. And she is responsible 100% for her actions, for the choices she made. And it does seem like to me, from highlights of some of the videos she made, that she was out strictly for attention. That I, I don't know her personally. And if I did, I guess I would have tried to have, I don't know, told her that, look, you know, it sucks that you don't get as many views on YouTube. It sucks you don't, you aren't growing your channel. I'm in the same boat with you, but I don't blame anybody for that. I just embrace that if it's meant to happen, it'll happen one day. The only thing I can do is keep making the content I make and keep live streaming and, and hopefully get better. And continue to be appreciative of the subscribers and the viewers and the fans and the sponsors that I do have. And that's the way I have to look at it. I have to be grateful for what I have. And I, I think that's something that a lot of us tend to forget. We think about the, ah, the car that runs us off the road. Actually, I was going to say the mountains. So we think about the mountains in front of us that we have yet to climb as opposed to the mountains that are already behind us. I know. Good timing right there, right? Except for the lousy car in the video game, but that being said, back on topic. So yeah, a lot of people out there crave, desire, and want attention in some form or fashion. And some people go over the top, making it very obvious that they want that attention. Whether it's you know wearing like skimpy clothes because they happen to have the, the right body that, that works for that clothing. You know, sometimes even those that don't exactly have the right body decide to wear skimpy clothes. And really, you really shouldn't wear that. I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life, but yeah, no, no. But even those with, with a very good body, I mean, I'm not telling you not to flaunt it. I mean, I don't mind, but <laughs> at the same time, it seems pretty apparent that they're showing off, that they want the attention. They want people to notice how, how good of sh in shape they are. And I think a lot of people that you know, go with wild and crazy hairstyles and, and different hair colors to some, some degree. They like attention too. They want to stand out. They want to feel different. And maybe at the core, they want attention or maybe they don't care as much for attention as you think. Maybe they just like having blue hair or pink hair or, you know, hair with different types of highlights. In the end, it's their choice. Just like it's the choice of people to wear skimpy outfits, whether it works for them or it uh, really, really doesn't. It's their choice at the end, but either way, you're getting attention, whether it's a good attention or bad attention. And it just goes down to what kind of attention you want when it comes to everything we do in life. And yeah, I mean, that's how it is. I mean, just like me, you know, I obviously like attention because of what I do. I mean, that's one of the side effects to making content on YouTube, to live streaming, is I do get attention. And people, fortunately, for the most part, enjoy the content I make. They enjoy my live streams. They enjoy the vlogs, which is good. I'm glad they do. Because it makes me feel like I'm actually making something of, uh, I don't know, decent quality for them to enjoy. And uh, that didn't go the way I planned. Oh, well. <laughs> I got that train's attention, didn't I? But uh, anyways, so yeah, I think a lot of times we do things craving attention, wanting that attention, and we don't think about what's going to happen because there's a good way and a bad way to go about getting said attention. I mean, some people will do things to get that girl's attention or that guy's attention that will make you look like a damn fool. And oh, they'll, they'll, you'll have their attention, but not in a good way. They're going to be like, what an idiot, what a moron, what a doofus. <laughs> and they'll think to themselves, I'm glad I'm not with him or her. So yeah, th th there are right ways and wrong ways about getting somebody's attention. Whether it's that person you're interested in or 
some sort of legacy you want to leave behind. Because the reality is, we're not going to be here forever. You go to a graveyard, and unfortunately I've been to a few cemeteries in my time, one in particular. And there are times whenever I'm looking around at all the uh, tombstones and headstones. And I think to all these people that at some point in their lives, they too probably wanted attention. They wanted somebody else to notice them, whether it was a you know family member or a friend or a potential lover or somebody that they worked for. And the reality is, in time, you know, it doesn't really matter because they're not exactly getting attention anymore because, well, all they are now is just another, you know, slab, you know, another piece of stone with their name written on it. You know, the day they were born, the day they were died. Now, some people may still remember some of those people in the cemetery that I speak of. But unfortunately, as time progresses, you know, decades and, you know, centuries from now, unless you did something really profound, I mean, like something like up to level of like Albert Einstein or uh, Stephen Hawking or uh, Picasso or Vincent van Gogh, William Shakespeare, something to that level. Yeah, I mean, most of us are going to be forgotten. It's just a sad reality we live in. But what matters right now is how you wish to be remembered by those in your lives. That's what matters, is the attention that you crave from those in your world. Not, not what people are going to think, you know, centuries from now when it, it probably won't even matter because we're all going to be radioactive dust. Hopefully not. <laughs> but what, what matters is the kind of attention you want to leave on those around you. Family, friends, the community li you live in, and even on very rare occasions at the national and global level because some people will rise up. Some people will have the skills to be the next big movie star or the next big sports star or the next big singer or musician. Not everybody, but we all have skills. We all have value. We all have purpose. It's just a, a matter of finding that purpose and those skills. And it's something I'm still trying to figure out on my own. Like, what exactly am I meant to do with this world? What exactly is my purpose? And, like, whatever that is, hopefully I make the most, of it, most out of it and I, I get the right attention, you know, positive attention from people where they look back and they think about me and they say, you know what? He actually made a difference in my life. He made me laugh. He made me think about something. He inspired me. He made me feel better on a day when I was sad. He gave me something to look forward to. That's the kind of attention I want. You know, the good positive type of attention. Where I, at the very least, maybe I didn't make a difference on the world stage, but maybe I made a difference in somebody's life. You know, to a positive capacity, hopefully. But unfortunately, there are plenty out there that don't really think about that. And they end up getting negative attention. And that's something you always got to be mindful of because if you seek attention for the sake of attention just because you, you want it, you crave it, and you're willing to do whatever it takes to get that attention, there, there will be consequences. Like, you know, so-called outlaws or rebels or rule breakers or you know, people that are like, oh, I'm going to skip class. I don't give a crap about school. Or I'm going to go talk back to my parents. Or I'm going to you know, like, you know, flip off cops or I'm going to go do something that's against the law and you're going to get attention when you do shit like that. Unfortunately, you are going to do attention like by running a red light or not using a turn signal or going a little over the speed limit. You will get attention from, you know, the police, the 5-0, the one time, the fuzz, whatever you want to call them. Oh, you're going to get their attention and I think most of us don't really want their attention. Most of us would like to drive by a police officer and never have them bother us at all. So that's attention that most of us would like to avoid. And the more times you, you do something and you want to make people think that you're just a badass and you don't give a damn about the law and you know nothing, nothing can bother you and like, oh, man, I'm untouchable. I'm, I'm a mobster. I'm a gangster. I'm a, I'm a good fella or whatever. 
reality is even Goodfellas are not untouchable. Uh, look at Al Capone. Look at you know several other mob bosses and lieutenants. You know they they did some bad stuff too. They got some attention eventually from local law enforcement, and even some of them managed to cross the line, and they got attention from other mobsters, and that usually did not end really well for them. So yeah. Just think about that next time you're craving attention.